Carla with Ways to Walk. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about when life imitates fiction, or in other words, time tra travel actually is a thing. But before we get started, a little bit about this channel. Here we share good thoughts about good words. And on Fridays, I host a live Bible study on Instagram at Ways to Walk. And then I publish two videos a week. I publish that Bible study with some study aids, and I also publish a video about books. So if you are interested in either of those things, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can get updates about new videos. So a couple, I don't know, so a while ago, a few weeks ago, a month, I don't remember exactly when I published this, but I did a review on my friend Donald Catching's book, Note to Self. So that is a retelling of the tale of Narcissus, but it's a science fiction time travel book. And as I mentioned in the review, it was really interesting to me because it was different than any other time travel book I've read, although admittedly I haven't read all that many. And as he's, um, as his character travels through time, he interacts with the different states of time differently. And I thought it was really interesting because I've never seen somebody describe time travel that way. Um, the, the way that the character moves through time, that he interacts with the different states of time differently. And I mentioned that it kind of reminded me a little bit of C.S. Lewis's The Great Divorce. So I was chatting with Donald about that after I did the review, and he said that there was a book, and I cannot remember what the title was, but I'll put it up here so that, um, you can check it out if you want to. I ordered it. I haven't read it yet. But um, there's a story that C.S. Lewis actually got the idea for The Great Divorce from, and that's also where Donald got this, you know, this state of being in different states of time from. So anyway, I was browsing through my news, news articles, and I came across this news story. A physicist has come up with math that makes paradox-free time travel possible. So I'm going to read this to you, because what this article is describing is basically Donald's novel, which I think is absolutely hilarious. So anyway, so this article was this article was from the site Science Alert. No one has yet managed to travel through time, at least to our knowledge. But the question of whether or not such a feat would be theoretically possible continues to fascinate scientists. As movies such as The Terminator, Donnie Darko, Back to the Future, and many others show, moving around in time creates a lot of problems for the fundamental rules of the universe. If you go back in time and stop your parents from meeting, for instance, how can you possibly exist in order to go back in time in the first place? It's a monumental head scratcher known as the grandfather paradox. But now a phys physics student, Jermaine Tobar from the University of Queensland in Australia, says he's worked out how to square the numbers to make time travel viable without the paradoxes. Classical dynamics say if you know the state of a system at a particular time, this can tell us the entire history of the system, says Tobar. So here's the thing. I actually did, I actually just watched um, Tim Burton's uh, Alice in Wonderland. And you know, they have that, um, what do they call it, the oculum or something, where there's like, it shows particular points in time and it shows the future. So that, that concept is kind of tying into this here, isn't it? Okay, however... Einstein's theory of general relativity predicts the existence of time loops, or time travel, where an event can be both in the past and future of itself, theoretically turning the study of dynamics on its head. What the calculations show is that space-time can potentially adapt itself to avoid paradoxes. To use a topical example, imagine a time traveler journeying to, into the past to stop a disease from spreading. If the mission was successful, the time traveler would have no disease to go back in time to defeat. Tobar's work suggests that the disease would still escape in some other way through a different route or by a different method, removing the paradox. Whatever the time traveler did, the disease wouldn't be stopped. Tobar's work isn't easy, or easy for non-mathematicians to dig into, but it looks at the influence of the deterministic processes without any randomness on an arbitrary number of regions in the space-time continuum and demonstrates how both closed time-like curves, as predicted by Einstein, can fit in with the rules of free will and classical physics. <laughs> So the math checks out, and the results are the stuff of science fiction, says the physicist Fabio Costa from the University of Queensland, who supervised the research. The new research smooths out the problem with another hypothesis that time travel is possible, 
but that time travelers would be restricted in what they did to stop them creating a paradox, which again, go read Donald's book. In this model, time travelers have the freedom to do whatever they want, but paradoxes are not possible. While the numbers might work out, actually bending space and time to get into the past remains elusive. The time machines that scientists have devised so far are so high concept that they currently only exist as calculations on a page. We might get there one day. Stephen Hawking certainly thought it was possible. And if we do, then this new research suggests we would be free to do whatever we wanted to the world in the past. It would just readjust itself accordingly. Try as you might try to create a paradox, the events will always adjust themselves to avoid any inconsistencies as cost of the range of mathematical processes we discovered show that time travel with free will is logically possible in our universe without any paradoxes. And this was originally published in Classical and Quantum Gravity. So anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. And if you've read any time travel books that seem realistic, because I have another one that I'm still planning on doing a review of that is just doesn't even attempt to make any sense. So what other good time travel books do you, have you read that are out there? Okay, thanks for joining me and I will see you next.